गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन हेलो तोबिन स्वर्णा लक्ष्मी बालाजी आनंद हाउ यू गाइस सुमंत कुमार अ वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो हाउ यू गाइस डूइंग and how is your gr preparation going on swarna says good balaji says okay how about you sumant tobin so if you know if all of you are interactive then you know i promise that you know we can have a very good session okay uh, so in in addition to you know getting uh, tips from us okay uh, we can we can make this a lot, very interactive okay uh, each, each we believe that uh, each one of us or each one of you is very knowledgeable okay and each one of us can learn from each other okay uh your doubts okay your problems can you know the others can also listen to it others can uh, you know you can share them and we can discuss them and find out uh, you know how one should uh, prepare for gre okay and we'll also discuss you know how is that you know greh can help you okay guys okay samir rajan just joining us hi samir okay so uh, we'll get started with the on online seminar okay uh, my name is samarth okay and uh, i'm i'm going to coordinate uh, you know today's online seminar okay and with us we have a special guest uh, mr manik kumar who is a senior gre advisor with greh okay and he has been uh, spending a lot of time with students understanding uh, you know problems understanding uh, you know how how they can be solved in you know simple yet very effective uh, you know in a very effective manner okay so today he is here with us okay he is going to discuss you know how uh, you know one should uh, plan their gre okay uh, when one should write their gre what are the things that you know uh, you should be doing when you are preparing for gre how do you know make your preparation very effective spend little time okay few months but how to come out of that with you know very high score okay that's what is going to discuss with us today okay so you know please join me in uh, in welcoming uh, mr manik kumar and i'll hand over the mic to him okay and uh, you know we'll also be uh, taking up uh, all your questions and answering them so you can use the chat box and uh, you know uh, ask as many questions as, as you want okay uh, we'll also at the end of the seminar also we'll have a you know a longer uh, q and a session if there are any doubts left okay so i'll open the floor for you as well as money thank you guys so thank you so much for that wonderful introduction so guys shall we start today's online seminar okay vasant says yes sir balaji says yes right on sorna says yes sir okay so before we start before we start uh, let me ask you what what are you guys expecting from today's online seminar what are you guys expecting from today's online seminar guys Okay. Problems in quant and vowel. All right. Memorizing words. A W A. Tips and tricks to G R E. Tips to how to score good. And word list. Best way to crack the GRE says Samir. Fine. 
Okay, so guys, I'll answer all of your questions uh, during the course of uh, today's online seminar. Okay, but before we start, uh, let's set some ground rules for today's online seminar. Okay, uh, I want all of you to respond to my questions, to my queries. Since we cannot see each other, I cannot see you. You cannot see me. It's it's uh, it will be uh, it will be great if you if you, if you could uh, acknowledge uh, for each of my question or each of my query. Okay, whatever I say. Uh, respond to it by uh, typing your comment in the chat box just like you are doing it right now okay and i want all of you to respond okay just acknowledge that you guys are listening okay and any doubts you have related to the topic that we are discussing you can uh, you can uh, post it straight away and i'll take your question and i'll answer okay but uh, if you have any doubts that's not related to the topic that we are discussing we'll have a question and answer session at the end of the seminar okay now coming to the agenda for today's online seminar, uh, what we are going to discuss today is uh, first we'll uh, we'll discuss we'll uh, we'll brief on the GRE uh, GRE pattern, the new GRE pattern, how it has changed from the old ones. Okay, then we'll look look at some problems that uh, students face while starting with GRE uh, preparation. Okay, now academic doubts and uh, you know questions. Uh, there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of doubts and a lot of questions that students have. Okay, and it's also easy to uh, find out the answers for them, but the problems, but the, the personal problems that students face, it's very hard to uh, hard to solve them. So we will be discussing uh, the problems that students face. Now, uh, now I'll tell you one more thing that uh, GREH had has had fourteen thousand students over the past. Okay, and uh, uh, people have come up with various doubts, and uh, GREH has helped them in. Uh, you know, solving their doubts in the GRE preparation to boost their scores. Okay, so based on that, I've, I've uh, made this presentation. Okay, all the all the problems that you are going to uh, face while you are preparing for your GRE. Okay, then we'll move on to uh, 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 then we'll move on to the uh, problems that uh, students face in verbal quant and AWA. And then I'll tell you how to prepare effectively for GRE. And then we'll have a question and answer session. Okay. So, guys, it's, uh, is that a done deal? Anything else you want me to discuss today? Samir says yes. Okay, so shall we go ahead with the seminar? Shall we start? Yes, says Swarna. Yes, says Balaji. Suman says yes. Radhika says yes. Okay. Now, for, first of all, uh, we'll discuss the right time to take the GRE. Okay, so you know, uh, if if you can answer, uh, what are the right uh, time? Uh, when, when do you think uh, is the right time to write the GRE? Uh, anybody has any clue? Or you can tell us when are you writing your GRE and what is the reason for that? Okay, Sumanth is writing in summer. Okay, why is that uh, Sumanth? December month uh, says Swarna. Okay, December 2013. Okay, so you know, we uh, can we have a poll here, and uh, you know, all of you can answer that. And you can uh, simultaneously you can uh, you know tell us you know, what is your reason uh, you know for writing GRE at that time. Hey, Mani, uh, what are the re reasons uh, for which uh, you know uh, you know how how students choose which admissions or you know when to write the GRE? How do they choose? Yeah, that's a good question, Samat. I'll come to that. I'll discuss uh, uh, that that question and I'll answer that question. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, okay, guys, you can you can go ahead and answer the poll, and uh, then we'll discuss about it. Okay. So, guys, uh, shall I close the poll? Okay. All right. So.
so it so happens that the admissions uh, for GRE they happen twice a year. Okay, uh, once it is the fall time and once it is spring uh, spring time. Fall is from August uh, August and September. It's uh, in between August and September. Spring is uh, in between December and January. Okay, so admission seasons are open for uh, these uh, these couple of uh, you know months. Okay. Now, to be on the safe side, you need to take the GRE at least eight to ten uh, months in advance of your admissions. Okay, so if you are if your uh, if your uh, GRE is uh, in in December, it, the ideal time to start your preparation would have been uh, somewhere around uh, uh, August or September. Okay, so that would have been ideal. Okay, so uh, that is uh, what, uh, that is what the right time to take uh, the GRE is. Okay, uh, Mani, uh, you know, can you tell us uh, what, what is the season for which uh, admissions are going on right now, and uh, you know, what, what are the deadlines? Uh, can you just tell us that. Okay, so uh, summer right now it's it's uh, it's a it's a uh, fall season going on. It's it will be uh, open till around the end of December or uh, uh, some part of the January maybe. Okay, okay, and uh, uh, it, it continues uh, uh, till January, and then. Uh, after a brief period and uh, the uh, spring session for uh, 2014 will start. Okay, so and these uh, deadlines are different for different universities? Uh, yes, uh, yes, Samad. Uh, it so happens that all uh, uh, different universities have different uh, different deadlines. Okay. Uh, the top uh, 10 to 20 universities, uh, uh, because of the huge demand for them, they uh, they close their uh, deadlines uh, very soon. Okay. Okay, and. Uh, uh, the middle universities, the top 50 universities, they have uh, a little later, they close their deadlines a little later and the remaining universities, uh, uh, go, although although I'm, I'm not saying that the quality is not good, they are, they are very good in quality, but uh, they, they have their deadlines open uh, uh, till, uh, you know, till uh, quite late. So you have a window, a huge window open for them. Okay. So we all know now. We know that you know when should we write GRE uh, to go for which season. Okay. So now, uh, if you write it in the next uh, two three months, you can go for fall uh, 2014. And uh, if you are not able to write in those uh, you know next two three months, or uh, then you then you will have to apply for the next season. There's a spring season. Okay. Uh, so you know uh, now you know, when you are applying for GRE. Okay. The first, uh, you know, what, what is the first thing that uh, you, know, you should know about uh, GRE? That, that, that's a good question, Samad. Okay, uh, the first thing that uh, comes to my mind uh, when it comes to GRE preparation is the GRE pattern. Okay, so if, if we don't know the GRE pattern, uh, there's no point studying because uh, we won't know how to study. Okay. Uh, so GRE pattern that uh, now it, it, it has changed oh, in, uh, in the uh, past few years. Okay. It, some two years back, uh, they have changed the pattern for the GRE, GRE exam. Now, uh, it, it, in the new GRE pattern, it, the, the duration of the exam is uh, four and a half hours. Okay, that's unusually a very long exam. Yes, definitely. Okay. Anything that's, uh, you know, can you tell us more what, uh, you know, about the GRE pattern, how is it different? Yes, so the GRE is a four and a half hour exam and uh, it will have uh, two breaks in between. Okay, and uh, it, it has again uh, like most of the exams do. It has uh, three sections: uh, uh, verbal, quant, and then one extra section that is called analytical writing. That is uh, uh, quite important that uh, you won't see in any other exam generally. And uh, you know, there's uh, something called as experimental also. Yes, I'll explain what is experimental section. So what happens is uh, the organization that uh, that uh, uh, conducts the GRE, they they test a few questions or few uh, question patterns uh, and see how the students are answering it. So uh, uh, so because of that, uh, they give an extra section. It can be either verbal or it can be it can be quant. So give, they give an extra section to, to, for students to solve. Okay, uh, they don't. Uh, uh, they, they don't uh, give marks for it. You won't be awarded any marks for it. But uh, okay, uh, it, it's only for testing purposes. Say if you have uh, three, if you have three quant sections and one verbal section, you can be sure that one one of the quant section was experimental. So, uh, since uh, there are two sections for each of the uh, each verbal and quant. Okay, and can you tell us uh, you know, uh, 
how is the new GRE different from the previous one and how should one prepare? Okay, now the new GRE section is section wise adaptive. Uh, I'll tell you what section wise adaptive is. It's uh, See, uh, so I told you that uh, there are two sections in quant and two sections in verbal. Okay, now if you, if you answer the, uh, answer the uh, first section very well, and if you score uh, well in the first section, the second section will uh, will be uh, uh, quite difficult than the uh, uh, than it actually needs to be. Okay, and if you don't answer uh, the first section well, the difficulty level uh, will decrease. Okay, now there are five difficulty levels uh, in in, in uh, there are five uh, difficulty levels in uh, for the uh, for the section uh, adaptive section. Okay, based on uh, based on your answering. Uh, answering the questions, the uh, the difficulty level will increase, so the, so will your marks. Okay, Sumanth is asking, uh, you know, are paper based GRE conducted in uh, India? No, uh, no, Sumanth, uh, paper based uh, GRE they have stopped conducting uh, in India. Now it's completely online. Wherever you go, you will be uh, you will be able to write the exam online. Yeah, only in a few countries uh, where the internet uh, facility is not there. Uh, only in those countries uh, you might find uh, you know that if you go to ETS and you try to book uh, your GRE date, you you will come across uh, this. Okay. Now, uh, you know, how many times can I write, and how many times would you recommend a student to write GRE? Okay. So you can take uh, take the GRE five times a year. Okay. Uh, generally within the gap of 21, uh, 21 days. So that will uh, almost give you around. Uh, a chance of uh, taking it five times, okay? Uh, five times a year, uh, you can uh, you can take you can uh, take the GRE. Okay. And how, how many times uh, do you recommend uh, anybody to write GRE? Uh, I would recommend uh, students to uh, come up with uh, come up with a good score in the very first time. Okay. Uh, there's no harm in writing it at the second time. The ETS also provides an option of. Uh, you know, sending the score whichever is the best score out of the five, but uh, it, it's uh, it's highly recommended that uh, you come uh, when when we can score good in the in the very first attempt. Why why go for the second attempt? Yeah, that's very very true, uh, Mani. And uh, you know, but those who are writing uh, you know GRE multiple times, okay. And uh, I think uh, if if you have made up your mind that you know next time if you write your GRE, you're not very happy with your current score, and next time you write your GRE. You want to get a very good score, and you are determined to do that, and you are confident to do that. Okay, then you should not hesitate because ETS is now providing you an option that you can only send those scores uh, which you want to show. Okay, so universities will not uh, you know, get to know your previous score. Okay, you need not uh, feel uh, you know uh, you know that the universities will get to know my previous score and they'll judge me by that. Okay, you can you, know, you can put your best effort. And uh, you know, uh, go ahead with uh, with uh, you know uh, writing uh, GRE again and getting a good score. Okay. So now uh, you know in GRE, uh, like you said, there are three uh, three sections. Okay. So uh, you can, can tell us uh, you know what what all uh, are there in those sections, and uh, we can start with uh, probably verbal, uh, which happens to be one of the toughest uh, sections. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's a good question, uh, Samant. Like I said, uh, there are three. Uh, they, you, you can call them three uh, various departments of a GRE section. One is verbal, one is quant, and uh, one is analytical writing. So first, we'll we'll come to the uh, verbal section. So verbal section is 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 a is a uh, is a place where most of our students, especially our uh, Indian students, face uh, uh, you know difficulties in in, in solving. In, uh, in answering or getting a high score, that that is uh, you know something uh, that it, it's natural because it's English is not our native language. Okay, so we tend to uh, struggle a little, but uh, there's uh, there's uh, no hard and fast rule that you cannot excel in GRE verbal. Okay, there are uh, tips and techniques available that uh, if you follow, you can uh, uh, you can score very well. Now coming to what uh, what is included in GRE verbal. Uh, there are majorly three uh, three parts of, uh, of a GRE verbal. Okay, one is reading comprehension, uh, one is text completion, and then the other is sentence equivalence. Now, reading comprehension, as as we all know, uh, is uh, we've been doing since our childhood the uh, uh, reading passages and then answering questions that are based on the passage. Okay, 
but only thing is uh, the uh, the passages the uh, comprehend uh, comprehension passages uh, that are provided in the GRE exam are uh, are, are of a much much uh, higher difficulty okay, and it, it takes quite a time to uh, you know understand those passages and answer the answer those questions okay, and uh, most importantly the re reading comprehension consists of 50 percent of the whole GRE verbal section so it's very important to uh, concentrate on the on the RC section reading comprehension section of GRE verbal and then again there are uh, text completion and then uh, sentence equivalence text completion is uh, uh, more like uh, fill in the blanks okay and sentence equivalence is like uh, you, you'll, you'll have to choose a sentence that uh, uh, that sounds uh, more uh, that sounds uh, much uh, much more similar in meaning to the given sentence okay now you know, if you have to do well in uh, text completion and sentence equivalence you know, uh, what is that uh, you know is required? Uh, what is the first uh, you know minimum requirement for anybody to do well in uh, text completion and sentence equivalence? Okay, so uh, first of all, the basic requirements or uh, requirement of the GRE verbal is to have a good vocabulary. Okay, uh, so the good good vocabulary will come with learning more and more words, different types of words. As you know that uh, there are three thousand five hundred words uh, that are generally recommended. Uh, to write a GRE exam, uh, recommended to learn to write a GRE exam. Okay, so the more words you learn, the better will be your vocabulary, and the better you will be answer, you will be able to answer a question. Now it so happens that uh, I, I'll ask a question, guys. Uh, how many of, how many uh, times has it happened that uh, you come across a question, and all the options uh, sound similar to you, all all the options of the question sound uh, very very similar to you. You think okay, this this word and this word they both sound the same. What is the right answer? How many times has it happened to you? Okay, it has happened to Balaji. Okay, Basan says all the time. Samir says few times. Suman says regularly. Abhishek says all the time. Swarna says few times. Okay, so yes, it happens with us most of the times. But why does it happen? It's because of a of a weak vocabulary. Okay, if if we don't know the meaning of a particular exact meaning of a particular word, we tend to get confused. If there are similar words that sound similar in meaning, okay, and we don't know the exactly what is the difference between the words. We tend to get confused. We don't know what is the right option, and we end up taking the wrong answer. Okay, so it's important to uh, develop your voc vocabulary by learning words. If you if you if you have a huge uh, database of vocabulary in your mind, then you'll be able to answer better better a uh, lot of uh, you know questions uh, in GRE verbal. Okay, and it it also directly connects to your reading comprehension section. Uh, the you know the more vocabulary you know, the uh, the better you will be able to understand a particular passage and answer the questions that follow. Okay, and uh, you know, uh, as you move along, uh, you know, uh, Mani will also share the, you know, what what is that uh, you know GREH provides, okay, which can make uh, you know learning words very easy, and uh, you know how, how you can practice each one of them and become very confident, uh, you know, uh, by the time you write your GRE, okay. So yeah, you know, we'll uh, we'll see the next section, uh, which is uh, cons. So what are the uh, you know various topics uh, in, in cons? I think uh, this from the previous year is something has changed. So okay. just tell us what is there in. Uh, yes, Samuel. So in cons there are uh, you know there are a huge number of topics, and I'm sure uh, you guys have uh, you know gone through it. Considering most of you. Uh, uh, Will be from engineering backgrounds. Okay, so arithmetic, algebra, geometry, uh, uh, basic statistics, normal distribution, pro probability, uh, permutation, and combination. They are the major topics. Okay, and and then there are uh, topics in applied mathematics. Then there are there's basic statistics. These are the topics that are generally uh, asked in GRE quant. Okay, uh, most of the questions uh, uh, come from these uh, these topics. 
Okay, so money, uh, if you know, uh, if most people find you know maths to be easy, and you know we have been doing maths all our lives. Okay, now you know, uh, what would you suggest? Uh, you know, all of us here, if you want to get one seventy or one seventy or you know more than one sixty, you know, what is that you would suggest? Okay. Uh, so much I'd, uh, I'll, I'll, first of all, I'll suggest uh, students to have a lot more practice. So generally what happens is that, uh, you know, most of us, even me, uh, coming from an engineering background, I, uh, when I first saw the GRE pattern, I felt very confident that, uh, okay, GRE quant is easy. I can, I can uh, crack it easily. I, it's, it's just a piece of cake. Okay. Most most of the students have this uh, you know have this feeling that uh, you know I can crack it easily, okay. But uh, it so happens that uh, only a few students uh, are able to score uh, 170 out of 170 in quants. Okay, if, if we are so confident about a quant, we will we should be able to uh, score uh, uh, 170 out of 170. But that is not happening. So there is uh, definitely a gap in in what we are thinking and what we uh, what we are actually you know achieving. So that that gap can be uh, you know uh, that gap can be fulfilled by a lot of practice. Okay, these these are the basic uh, basic topics that we already know how to solve. But with more practice, with more time management, solving it online, taking more more and more practice tests. Will give you a complete. Uh, uh, will give you a complete view of what the actual GRE will be, will be like, and uh, you'll be able to score a much better score in 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 in, in GRE point. So that means there's a uh, big difference between being good, being very good in uh, maths, and you know, having a caliber of 170. Correct. Okay. okay. So yeah, uh, you'll also be sharing. Uh, you know how. How, how, how one can do that? What, what is the practice material to do that? And uh, yes, definitely, so much. Okay, so yeah, we'll uh, yeah, shall we have a look at uh, you know GRE analytical writing then? Yeah, sure. So uh, guys, coming to analytical writing, uh, uh, how many of you have already uh, you know uh, started uh, writing uh, issues or uh, essay, uh, issues or argument topics? How many of you have have already practiced analytical writing? Okay, Vasant says Vasant has practiced. Swarna has practiced. Okay, Balaji has. Ganesh has. Okay. All right. So, how was your experience, guys? How was your experience? What What do you think? On a scale of uh, zero to six, how How much uh, would you be able to score? Okay, three. Three says Balaji. You see, uh, money. You know, uh, I think uh, most students you know, whom I have spoken to, you know, they are uh, you know they are confused whether analytical writing is actually worth that effort. You know, sh should you know uh, do universities take analytical writing scores uh, you know seriously? Okay, uh, that's the first question. Yeah, that's a very good question, Samad. I was actually about to do, uh, take this question uh, myself. Okay, uh, most uh, most students uh, think that analytical writing is is an extra section that is that uh, need not be concentrated upon. But it's not true. I've seen students who, who have scored very well in verbal and quant, very good GRE score, but still haven't uh, managed to. Uh, Get a get get an admission in a good university just because of their analytical writing scores. So it, analytical writing matters. Okay, most of the universities will ask uh, ask your uh, AWS score. So it, it's very important to have a good uh, score in AWS as well. Okay. And uh, you know, while you're practicing for analytical writing for GRE, okay, it's definitely going to improve your writing skills. Okay, which is uh, you know, going to help you in your college life. Okay. Which is going to help you uh, frame your own SOPs, a statement of purpose, uh, which you're going to send to universities, okay, and it will also you know help you later on in your professional life, okay, and you know writing is something uh, you know that takes you know a lot of time to develop. It's uh, you know it won't develop over 15 days or one month, okay. So it, it, uh, it's better that you know you start uh, practicing it early, okay, because you know the the benefits 
uh, are you know uh, very great. Okay, though it may look like a six uh, you know six scale point, but you know, how this six you know on the scale of six how you know somebody looks at you is very very different. That's correct. That's correct. Correct, Samar. So you know, can you tell us uh, you know what is an issue argument? Uh, you know, what is the difference between them? Yes. Uh, there, there are actually two two types of uh, you know uh, writing questions uh, that will be that will be asked in analytical writing section. One is an issue issue section and one is an argument section. Okay, in issue, what happens is they'll give you a topic. Okay, they can be current affairs, politics, any topic. Okay, uh, academic topic or any any article, they'll give you uh, uh, a topic. And you have to uh, you have to write uh, you have to take a stance and write uh, for or against uh, uh, about about that particular topic. You have to take a stand and you have to explain it. Uh, you have to explain your stand by uh, you know uh, telling them if if you are for the topic or against the topic. While in an argument, they'll give you a particular paragraph or a particular statement, and they'll and uh, you have to either strengthen or weaken that particular argument. By giving examples or uh, by giving instances from the uh, from from that intercept. Okay. So you know, uh, let's let's see you know how to get started uh, you know with GRE. Yeah, sure, Samarth. We'll we'll get to that. But uh, before that, we'll take a question by Samir. Samir asks, does quality of analytical writing improve by providing examples from current world wide scenarios or historical uh, data? Okay, so uh, Samir, uh, uh, the examples you can give, uh, you can you can give it uh, from anywhere. It can be historical data, can be you know current uh, uh, current worldwide scenario, as you said. You can also give uh, you know examples from uh, from uh, your personal experiences. But uh, the examples that you give should be able to strengthen your statement, whatever you are. Whatever stance you have taken, it should be able to strengthen your statement. You uh, that if if it if it does not fit the context, that will, that won't be uh, that won't be you know very useful. Okay? So even if you are presenting historical data or or you are presenting uh, the current uh, you know examples from uh, current affairs, okay, that that should uh, uh, strengthen your uh, strengthen uh, the argument or uh, or issue by you know by being in the context. Okay. So that that's what you have to keep in mind. Yeah, your focus uh, should not go away from the subject. Okay, uh, you know, uh, example is only only a means to uh, convince uh, you know your uh, uh, article. It's not a means to impress somebody by giving an example or telling that you're very knowledgeable. You have to convince or you have to meet the objective of the essay. Okay, so uh, you know, money. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, you know, if you don't have any questions, then uh, we'll look at uh, you know how to uh, you know how to plan your GRE. So you know, can you tell us uh, you know uh, what are the various uh, criteria by which uh, you know one should choose when to write GRE? Okay, so I, I'll I'll first uh, talk about uh, the ideal scenario of a scenario of a student who is writing the GRE. Okay. So uh, when when to when actually to take the GRE? When when is it that uh, you decide to take the GRE? Okay. So deciding uh, before deciding that you have to go through a lot of a uh, lot of factors. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of factors that influence this decision. Okay. Whether you are a student or a working professional. Okay. Which year of college you are in? Okay. What is the work experience you have? Uh, okay. What is the what is your target score? What are you trying to achieve? What is your dream university? Where are you trying to go? What is your uh, you know what is your uh, specialization? Where are you dreaming of uh, specializing in? Okay. Based on all these, uh, based on all these uh, you know uh, factors, you have to take a decision of uh, when to when to write the GRE. Okay. So if if you are uh, say if you are uh, uh, if say if you are in third year of um, uh, third year of a, of your engineering, that would be the perfect time to write your GRE because uh, in in your final year you know you'll uh, be facing a lot of projects and you might get busy. Okay, so 
third year would be a good time and uh, even before that since GRE has uh, G, the, the GRE exam has a validity of five years you can use your uh, GRE uh, score for five years you can even write uh, your GRE before that okay okay so you know if you start early that means you'll have more time uh, to plan your admissions you'll have more time to you know uh, make arrangement for funds okay so yeah, head start is good and uh, you know you can prepare longer for GRE and you know not lose focus uh, from your academics and uh, you know other activities or if you know if you are if you come in the third year or fourth year uh, and then the pressure of you writing uh, GRE and getting a good score becomes high uh, you will start losing focus uh, you know from uh, from your studies and uh, you may you will also have other commitments like project and internship which are also very important so i think uh, you know, starting early is good but in case you know if you have lost time there's nothing that you can do but just prepare hard and uh, you know do well in your gre okay now the uh, how you choose to prepare you know is you know another question okay yes. so you you can uh, you know choose to prepare on your own you could choose uh, to to join an on online academy like us or uh, you know you could uh, choose to borrow books or you know study with your friends okay now can you tell us you know in all these cases you know how one should prepare yes definitely summer uh, one scenario is that uh, you can study on your own okay self preparation that is one method of study okay so if you are studying on your own uh, with books to follow okay and uh, what are the books that you need to follow to get a good gre score okay then you can always you can always refer to uh, google google uh, you will get almost uh, you know many of the answers uh, that uh, you don't know many of the doubts you can get via google uh, but uh, of course not all the answers can be uh, uh, answered by google okay, you can check the various blogs on on the internet okay, you can even uh, ask your seniors or friends or if, even if uh, you know any of your relatives who has already written the gre who has already been experienced uh, you can ask them or uh, you can even ask your college uh, professors your your math professor or you can or you can refer your refer to your english english professor for verbal or for quant okay so those are the things you can do if you are studying on your own so you know, in case you don't have uh, you know any of your friends writing gre or you have you know anybody in your college uh, who has written gre okay then uh, what you can do is uh, you can uh, you can check it on facebook okay like uh, you you will uh, can if you just search you will find a lot of groups you will find a lot of pages and you can then ask people you can make them friends and you can find out you know how they were planning uh, how you know how they prepared for gre and you know if you continue to be friends you know they may also gu you know guide you in uh, choosing universities okay now if you are going uh, you know to a coaching institute Okay, tell us, you know, uh, how to choose a coaching institute, and you know, uh, how to make the best use of it. And what are the drawbacks uh, in each one of these modes of studying? Yeah, uh, yes, Samar. So it's, uh, there are there are so many coaching institutes you you see around you. If you go, uh, if you come out of your house, uh, you just walk ten walk ten meters, you'll see uh, you know a lot of lot of coaching institutes here, and there a lot of banners you'll see. Okay, everyone claims to be the best in town. Everyone claims to be the best in the country or best in the world. But uh, you know, how do we verify? How do we know which is which is uh, which is the best uh, coaching institute in town? Okay, all make big big claims. How do we verify them? Okay, check previous student history. Okay, if if uh, you can if you can ask them their previous student history, what were their scores? Okay, what what did they have to say? What was their feedback about the coaching institute? Okay, then that would be great if if there are students themselves saying that okay this uh, institute helped me a lot. Okay, students saying that uh, I was not confident with my preparation, but they helped me improve my confidence. So uh, that is one factor uh, you know that will help you verify. Okay, then take a try. Then take a trial. You are investing so much of money in your preparation, so much of your time, and uh, you know so much is at stake. The, and then it's definitely your uh, your right to ask for a trial go for a trial class go for a trial class one or two classes maybe see how they are teaching 
okay. then if you if you if you like if you like what they are teaching and if you uh, you know if you if you agree with what uh, they they are teaching will help you get a good GRE score then you can go and join okay then speak to the advisor uh, if what if he if he is asking uh, the difficulties that you face what is the particular problem that you are facing in in your GRE. If if is if is concerned, if it's really concerned how you are preparing and if he really wants to help you, that is one more factor. Okay, does he understand what you require? It's, they should not be. It should not. It should not be like uh, you have a particular problem and he is teaching you something else. Okay, so that should not be the case. He should be able to answer your answer your uh, doubts, whatever you have, whatever you you require. They should be able to provide you. Okay. Then gather data and check if it if it fits you. Okay. Check, check the history. Uh, do a small research and uh, see uh, what are their timings, what everything, and see if it fits you. Uh, you should not clash with your college timings. Okay. Uh, and all that. Okay. Now you know you said uh, you know the time you know, timings may clash and all that. So you know, can you just tell us uh, what are all the difficulties uh, you, you may face? Okay. So that you are prepared with, uh, you know, with that, uh, you know, before you join a coaching institute, and you know, uh, you know how to make best use of it, and what you will not get out of it. Yes, definitely, Samar. Okay. So there are there are many 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 problems that uh, students face uh, uh, when going to a, a coaching class. Okay. I'll discuss some of them. There are actually uh, there are actually a list of. Uh, more than 30 to 40 problems, but I have come up with the main major uh, major few problems. Okay, uh, so the students always say there are there are 30 to 60 students in my class. Okay, and uh, I don't get personal attention. Okay, the trainer does not even know my name. Okay, so that that is a major problem. The, the teacher is going on teaching, and he doesn't even know what what you are learning. Okay, and uh, there is no personal attention uh, in particular okay then i only got a bunch of books i have no idea how to use them okay you you are given a, a you are given a, a bundle of books a lot of books but you are not shown how to how to go through it how to read them okay and i, I gave a lot of paper tests instead of online tests now practicing on paper is one thing and uh, and uh, and uh, uh, taking an online test is totally different and since GRE is an online test, it's always recommended that you practice online. Okay, and then uh, my problems are something they are teaching me something else. Okay, so uh, you may have some one problem, you may have one problem, and uh, they are teaching you something else. Okay, so there's a complete mismatch in what you what you want to learn and what they want to uh, they want to teach. Okay. I have to wait for a week to get my doubts cleared. Okay, so uh, you 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 won't know when to access when to access uh, when to access the uh, the teacher. Okay, should I should you ask in the class or should you ask after the class or even should should you should you approach him for the doubt? How much time will it will it take to you know get you get get uh, get it well, uh, get back to you? Okay, so it takes a lot of time to get your doubts cleared. Okay. And uh, also problems in commuting and and then a mismatch in timing, and there should not be a fixed timing like most coaching classes have. They, they have a fixed timing. Okay, what if you, are, you want to do something else uh, on a particular day? You are met with an emergency. Okay, what if, if you want to do something else a particular day? You have to miss a class, right? So that should not be the case. They should be flexible. Uh, preparation time should be flexible. You you need uh, you. You should be able to study whenever you want. It should not be a particular timing, uh, you, and you are st sticking to it. Okay, and there is always a commute, commuting problem. Why can't you just sit, uh, sit at home and study, right? So those these are the basic problems that students face in their preparation uh, when they when they go to a coaching class. Okay, so you know, let's let's say that uh, you know uh, you know not going to let uh, somebody else decide how I'm going to prepare. Okay. So even if I were to take somebody's help, okay, I'm going to have a few things in my mind that what is that I want, okay, and I'll definitely go and say that this is what I want, and I'm going to check if that's what they provide. Okay, but before uh, you know, I do that, I should know 
uh, you know uh, what I should do. Okay. So you know, can you, you know, tell us you know uh, you know how to get started? You know how to you know plan? You know uh, how to approach the GRE? Yeah. So first step is to create a study plan for your for your GRE. Now plan is important everywhere. Uh, wherever wherever you go, you'll see uh, people you know ready with a plan before starting their work. Even if you're going out with your friends, uh, you'll have a plan. What, what movie should I go? What is the time I should go? Which is the theater I should go to? Okay, so plan is very important when you can uh, you can plan for a movie just for a three-hour movie. You can uh, when you plan so much. So why shouldn't you plan for uh, for a GRE, which is a matter of your career? Okay, so plan is very important. A study plan. Okay, and study plan make a study plan that is uh, very long term. Okay. Uh, it should be. It should also be flexible. Whenever you are not able to follow the study plan, you should be able to you change it and make a new new study plan that suits your uh, study timings. Okay, concentrate on your weaker area. That's the most important part. Okay, it's the study plan should not be like uh, whatever you know. You're just uh, you know practicing whatever you know. The study plan should concentrate on your weaker areas, and uh, it should be uh, it should be aiming to strengthen your weaker areas. Okay, and then uh, your strong points. Whatever you're strong in, uh, polish it even more. Okay. Now, how do you find out uh, you know, where you're strong and where you're weak? Yeah. So that's a good question, uh, Samad. Now, uh, now, like we go to a doctor and he diagnoses us. Okay. And once he diagnoses us, he is able to find out what are the weaknesses we have. Similarly, uh, uh, there is a diagnostic test for GRE. Okay. Uh, so. It's when you first start, uh, take a take a, 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 a diagnostic test. It will help you identify uh, your str uh, stronger areas and weaker areas. It will tell you basically where you particularly where you uh, presently stand in your GRE preparation. Okay, uh, say this is okay. Okay, so say this is this is a track. Okay, and when you take a diagnostic test, it will tell you you stand here. This is the finish point. Okay, so you know this is this is the amount of distance you need to cover. Okay, based on that, you uh, you need to make your study plan that will help you go from here. Okay, you you if if your diagnostic test uh, tells you that you are here, your study plan will be quite different. Okay, so uh, that is uh, basically how you uh, how you do it. Yeah. And it also means that uh, you know. The uh, the kind of material that you'll be using, the kind of questions that you'll be solving, will uh, also be very different. Yes, uh, correct, so much. Okay. Now, you know, for any plan, it's all based upon you know how much time you have. Okay. Now, how do you uh, you know uh, how do you find out how much time you have, and uh, you know how do you allocate time? Uh, that's a big issue. You know, time, time management. Yes. So. Uh, like uh, some of you are, you know, college students. Some of you are working professionals. Okay, uh, so it's important to keep in mind that uh, you know, other th other than your GRE preparation, there is, you know, uh, there's something also. There is also something important that you are doing. You you know, you have a college or you have a work to do. Okay, uh, but your study plan, your study plan should not, uh, you know, uh, coincide with all that. Okay, should be it should be flexible. It should not, uh, you know. Uh, you sh keep in mind that your the work pressure targets, okay, uh, and all are uh, you know uh, roaming around with friends, projects, assignments, all are you know all are kept aside, and there is a uh, there's a time uh, uh, allotted complete completely for GRE preparation, okay. Then uh, you know preparation should be flexible as I said, and it should be systematic. Take your lessons uh, regularly. Don't miss uh, your or your uh, Study plan. Okay, so you know, we are pretty much uh, know uh, you know how to plan uh, our GRE. Okay, so you know, can you just uh, you know uh, tell us you know, of all the problems that you know one will face uh, in the various sections in GRE. Okay, and you know then you can tell us you know, how to overcome them. And at the end of all this, how do we get a good uh, GRE score? Uh, yes, Amal. So. Uh, coming to the uh, your, your problems in uh, uh, GRE verbal, okay. Uh, 
like uh, there, there are many problems that students face uh, uh, in, in GRE verbal. Okay. I have listed out a few uh, difficulty learning words, uh, how, how to use the words in daily conversation. Now there is uh, learning the words is one thing, okay. uh, knowing the words is one thing, learning the words is one thing and uh, you know remembering is one thing and then again applying is one thing. So there are uh, various different aspects of uh, learning words in, uh, in verbal. Okay. So there are various there are various uh, uh, techniques for for learning words. Uh, okay, and uh, it's it's important that you not only remember those words, but you need to be, you need to be able to apply those words in uh, daily conversations. Okay, the more you use it, the better you'll know how to uh, how to use a particular word. Okay, you might be knowing a word, but if you don't know the context of how to use a word, then and then there's no use of uh, knowing the word because you'll lose that uh, particular point in a in a question. Okay, so uh, then again, taking a lot of uh, time in reading passages. Again, uh, taking a lot of time in reading passages comes from uh, having a weaker vocabulary. Okay, not knowing a particular word. If you're not knowing a particular word, you'll uh, you'll go back and read it again. So that will take more more and more time uh, in answering. So. Okay, uh, so, so basically, uh, you know, your vocabulary should be should be very strong. Okay? The more number of words you know, the better better it will be. Okay, the right answer is in mind, but end up selecting uh, the wrong answer. Okay, uh, can't find any authentic uh, practice test. Okay, so now you you need to identify an authentic practice test. Uh, see, uh, you know, see if you can get an actual adapter test. Take a test, practice more. Okay. And uh, revise the words as much as possible. The more you revise, uh, the more it will uh, be retained in your memory, okay, and uh, the better you will be able to use and apply apply them. Okay, now there's you know one more problem uh, you know while practicing, that is if you you know take up uh, you know any material, okay, any book, then what you see is a lot of questions, okay, but they all uh, you know jumbled up. They're all mysterious in nature. Okay, they're not uh, you know. They're, they're, it's not exactly what you have learned earlier. So you just take a lot of questions and uh, you know you'll be figuring, uh, trying to figure out how to solve them because you're not learned those concepts. So you know uh, that's another problem. Yes, uh, correct, Samad. Uh, this, uh, like you said, uh, Samad, if if all the if all the words are given to you in an you know in an alphabetical order, okay, it's it's or you know just some random order. It's it's very difficult to learn. Just consider, you know, uh, getting into a, uh, going into a room and uh, you see all the things uh, piled up in a, in a heap. Okay. It's very it's very uh, difficult to pick out one uh, one particular item out of them. Similarly, if you know if the words are given in a much uh, you know organized way or in a in a thematic way, then it will help your learning much better way. Okay. So you know, you'll, you'll, you'll be telling us you know, how to overcome them uh, also as we, you know, as we proceed we'll look at uh, the, what are the problems in uh, CON uh, before we proceed to that. Okay, so in spite of being confident in uh, GRE CON, uh, most, student fail, uh, most students you know, tend to make silly mistakes. The, that is the uh, major, major reason of you know, not getting a good score in CON. Okay. Uh, you guys know all the concepts, you know how to solve it, you know everything, but there are silly mistakes. Okay, as you know, silly mistakes can be avoided only by practice. The more you practice, the better, uh, the better score you can expect. Okay, now not only that, uh, there's, then there's accuracy and time management. You 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 can know all the you can know all the problems, you can know all the concepts, but if you are not able to manage uh, manage the section in time. Uh, then uh, you are, you know, you are bound to lose your, uh, bound to lose your marks. Okay. Then uh, students fail to visualize the problems. Okay. You you will be given a, uh, you know, geometry problem in uh, written in words. If you can't visualize it, uh, you know uh, how it looks like. Then uh, it will be difficult for you to solve that particular problem. Okay. So and then we'll uh, also look at uh, you know what are the problems in uh, you know AWA. Yes, uh, yes, uh, definitely, Samar. Like we discussed, AWA will have uh, you know uh, it's it's a completely writing section. 
uh, you'll get half an hour for issue and half an hour for argument writing. Okay. Now, the first thing you have to do is check uh, check the topic that are frequently asked in the GRE. There are a set of topics which have been asked uh, again and again in GRE. So uh, make sure you uh, you know practice those topics first. Okay. And then uh, generate ideas for writing essays. Your practice is really really important. Okay. Getting an idea of something is one thing, and writing a particular essay based on that particular idea is is a totally different thing. Okay. So write as much as possible. The more you write, the better it is. Okay. Write effective essays. You know, get it. Uh, you know, uh, get it evaluated with an expert. Okay, and uh, you should know how to evaluate your essays. And uh, uh, you know, there should be someone who could uh, give you evaluate your essays and give you feedback on how to improve. Okay, so you know, once you have uh, you know finished with your preparation and you go to your uh, you know write to write your GRE. So what are the you know uh, complexities and you know difficulties that you face there? Yeah. So preparation is preparation was one part we discussed about it. Okay. After all the preparation, after all the hard work, you know, months of hard work, so much time uh, students spend on on GRE preparation. Okay, uh, coming to the uh, coming uh, to the exam day, uh, you know, there are uh, few things that you need to keep in mind. Okay, uh, all all the things that you have studied, you need to answer it in four and a half hours. Okay, so time management is very important. You need to, you know, manage your time very well. You need to know exactly when to, you know, leave a question, skip a question, and uh, go to the next one. You need to know exactly what, uh, you know, uh, what, what question should should you answer. Okay, and uh, then anxiety. Most students, uh, uh, you know, tend to feel, uh, you know, tense in, during the exams. Okay. Keep calm. Keep calm during uh, during the exam. Be as as cool as possible. Uh, no need to get tense. Uh, that can hamper your score. Okay, and get uh, you know relax during breaks. Have a lot of fluids. Okay, and you, be aware of the adaptive nature of the exam. Uh, don't get tense if you get harder and harder questions. That only means that uh, your exam is going good. You you only have to be tense if your questions are easier. So that's what you need to keep in mind during the exam day. Okay. All right then. So you know then uh, then we'll see you know how we can overcome all these problems in you know verbal, quant, AWA, and you know how to manage your uh, you know uh, exam day. So you know can you tell us you know uh, how GRH you know provides you know this uh, this training? Okay. Uh, so, you know, which you know, more than 14,000 students have used, and so many of them have got such high scores, and all of them are very happy with uh, you know what they have got. So, can you tell us, you know, how is that? You know, they did it. Yeah. So, uh, like you said, uh, for 14,000 students, uh, uh, based on the insights from all the 14,000 students, you know, uh, there's a you know uh, unique uh, unique learning process uh, that GRH has. Okay. Once you enroll with us, what happens is you will be provided two personal trainers, one for verbal and one for quant. Okay, so they'll monitor your progress. Uh, they'll identify your weaker areas. Okay, they'll uh, you know they'll help you uh, become systematic. Okay, and uh, they'll clear all your doubts. Okay, and uh, whenever it's whenever it's necessary, they'll give you uh, feedback. Okay, and uh, they'll start with a diagnostic test. Okay. And uh, based on the diagnostic test, they'll identify your weaknesses and they'll uh, make a study plan for you. Okay. So, you know, why this you know diagnostic test and how is it that you know trainers are going to use it? Yeah. So, as soon as you enroll, it's just like a, a diagnosis of a doctor. Okay. Using this diagnosis, the doctor is able to identify what are the weaknesses, what are the illnesses a patient has. Okay. Similarly, a diagnostic test will uh, will help uh, a student understand what are the weaknesses lying uh, uh, for him uh, to you know what are the uh, various weaknesses uh, in him uh, in writing the GRE. So, uh, based on the uh, you know uh, based on the weaknesses of a particular student, uh, the uh, uh, personal trainer will make a study plan. 
Okay, so now you can tell us, you know, uh, what is the study plan? How uh, what does it consist of? Okay, now study plan is something that will give you direction for your uh, for your studies. Okay, so you cannot you cannot just uh, you know start studying and keep studying studying and you know end up somewhere. Okay, there should be a definite direction, a particular direction that you are going with your uh, GRE preparation. Okay, so a diagnostic test is a starting point of a, of your preparation. It will tell you this is where you stand in your preparation. Then a study plan will give you a particular route uh, to achieve your target score. Okay, so that uh, that that is called a study plan. It will include all your you know all your uh, course and you know based on uh, based on you know whatever timings you are uh, comfortable with. If you are a working professional, uh, you, you might not be able to uh, spend more more time every day. And if you are a college student, you might be able to spend a little more time. Okay, so based on that, they will make a study plan for you. Okay, so you know, it'll break up your preparation uh, depending on reading time, practicing time, revising time. Okay, how much time it takes for you to learn the concept? Then uh, you know, then actually practice it. Okay, and then uh, you know, gain mastery over it. So all this is considered uh, you know, while preparing a study plan. Now, can, can you, you know, with some example, okay, uh, say you know, word list, can you, you know, explain us you know, how is that a student is going to you know, learn? Okay. So at GREH, uh, the student will be provided 50 word list. Uh, every word list will consist of 35 words. These are not just 35 words. These words will be given with uh, Images, pictures, okay, uh, usages, usage statements, synonyms, antonyms, uh, okay, and uh, or, and also audio pronunciation. So every word that you come across, you will be every word we, uh, you will be you will come across, you will be given, uh, you know, you will be able to uh, know, you will be able to know how it's pronounced uh, and what it actually looks like. Now, what you know, what is the advantage of, of having a of having an image, having a picture with a word is that the human brain is able to retain pictures more than words. Okay, so it it is just how it's panned out to be. It's it's naturally uh, you know the brain is more attracted to visuals uh, instead of instead of words or text. It's more attracted to visuals. So visual wordless will help uh, help you remember words much more easily. Okay. And you know, if and even in the same case, if you know, if you are given three thousand five hundred words all together and with all, all of them with pictures, it still become very difficult to learn uh, all of them. Correct. So you know, what, what is important is that you practice each of these words. Uh, you know, after you learn them, so you learn some uh, thirty-five words, okay, and then you go on, you take a practice, and uh, you form your own usage sentences. You practice it in uh, you know GRE. Uh, text completion or the sentence equivalence uh, question and uh, you know, in, in turn you will you know, become very confident and you learn the word you know much more effectively okay now you know when uh, somebody takes a, a session like this you know, what, what is this uh, personal trainer actually doing uh, he's you know, uh, you know analyzing he's looking into you know what, what the student is doing okay uh, and uh, you know you can tell us uh, about the millisecond uh, you know, how it's done. Okay. So what a personal trainer actually does is when 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 a student takes a session, okay, uh, based on the a technology called the uh, millisecond technology, uh, he'll uh, he'll get uh, he'll get a uh, an uh, he'll get a feedback on on the performance of the student. Okay. Based on that, uh, the personal trainer will uh, will analyze it and and. Uh, tell the student where where uh, he actually lacks in his preparation and where he uh, needs to work upon and, and improve upon. Okay, so if if he is lacking in say uh, in in GRE verbal in uh, particular uh, TC TC or SC questions, okay, he'll he'll tell him how to how to prepare for it and what to do to uh, get the you know uh, get to your target score. Okay, so that means you know you're practicing and if you're you know making some mistakes. You will, you know, instantly get uh, you know, feedback, okay. And uh, uh, you know what this feedback uh, will enable you to do is that you know you grow, uh, you know, strong, 
and you will uh, stop you know, making the same mistakes uh, you know that uh, you you are you know, you're committing uh, normally because you know a, a, a trained uh, you know person or a trained expert can you know not just uh, you know uh, point out your mistakes but you know they you know they can help you in you know identifying all the mistakes that are going to come in the future right just tell it to someone okay so now you know this you know uh, the study material that is used okay, uh, by students now you know word list was one part of how you know they would you know build up their vocabulary they can tell us you know uh, the you know the entire study material uh, what is the nature of it okay so samarth you just told me a while back that if even if the word list were given all all at once it would be hard to study so similarly uh, like even the lessons have been broken down into smaller uh, smaller units so that it's easier uh, for for students to learn they go through one unit then take a break then then the uh, go through the uh, uh, go through another unit and again they take a break then they come back again and then uh, revise it again so it's you know uh, they are much more interested in studying than you know if we have a long uh, you know long huge uh, lessons or techniques okay then uh, then there's a lot of practice uh, involved in uh, uh, all the lessons and sessions you know uh, they'll be given uh, they'll uh, they'll get in a in a single interface so everything is there they can take the practice just as much as possible and the more they practice the better uh, you know they can uh, achieve uh, achieve their score okay and uh, you know uh, while while they are practicing or uh, while they're practicing on the on the interface Okay, their their uh, personal trainers will be constantly watching, and uh, and and the performance will be evaluated by the personal trainers. Then, as soon as their uh, session is over, they'll send a feedback that this is how uh, you did and this is how you should have done. So based on that, uh, they can improve your improve their uh, GRE scores. So uh, this is this kind of uh, training or this kind of learning happens for all the sections, uh, money. Yeah, yes, so much for all the session, whatever session a student takes, he will be uh, addressed by his personal trainer, uh, especially by his personal trainers. That uh, you, this is how you have performed, and this is where you are lagging. This is where you are good at. So this is how you need to proceed further. Okay, and they'll uh, they'll give you some you know uh, tips and techniques uh, on how to do it. Okay, you based on that you can take the practice test again, and then again they'll give you the feedback. That is how uh, the loop will continue. Okay, and you know once uh, you know once this loop is uh, you know over, you, you will uh, you will be taking a GRE style tests, okay, which are you know ten in you know ten uh, count and ten verbal that's available at GREH, and and after you finish that, you're going to take four full length uh, adaptive tests, okay, which are which is exactly like your GRE, and even the you know GREH uh, learning tracker interface is built exactly like the GRE. So you know, most students, you know, when they go and write their GRE, and if they have taken uh, you know, those four full-length tests earlier, you know, they most of them say that you know it was just like you know another GRE session. Okay. So, but you know, when when you are preparing for uh, you know GRE, uh, and you have uh, you will have so many doubts in your mind. Okay, now how do you get uh, you know, how do you get them clear, you know, cleared? You know, because your trainer is say, sitting in a different place. How do you get them cleared? Okay. So uh, I'll I'll go into a flashback and and tell you one incident. Uh, Samarth, uh, when I used to study, uh, I used to you know whenever I had a doubt, I used to go to Google and uh, search. But uh, uh, but uh, I hardly used to find any answers, and uh, it would be quite it, would, uh, it was quite difficult. Okay, and to uh, to ask my uh, teacher, I had to wait for one more day. But what GRIH has done is that they have made an application called the Insta Doubt, where all the doubts asked by the 14,000 uh, students in the past will be recorded in the database along with answers. Uh, so whenever they have a doubt, they can type it in Insta Doubt. Okay, and the similar answers, similar doubts asked by other students, who are 14,000 students, will show up, and uh, they can instantly, uh, they can instantly, uh, you know, clarify their doubts. because there are uh, there would be def- there would definitely be uh, similar doubts in the database okay there are hardly uh, hardly any chance that uh, you know you will come up with a new doubt uh, that the 14000 students haven't asked okay so 
that is one then you can always call your uh, your your personal trainers okay they'll they'll be more than happy to uh, clarify your doubts okay and uh, you know you can also have a database of all the doubts you raised and uh, review it uh, time to time and you know because you know there's uh, you have a personal trainer and you also have this instant doubt feature okay uh, because each one of us learns differently, each one of us uh, uses a different technique uh, you know, for solving, each one of us uh, you know, understands in a different way. You can choose uh, you know, the answer that suits you. Okay? So you can either choose it from you know, the Insta doubt or you can ask your trainer to you know, help you. Okay? So you know, Because each one of us learns differently and that's what we you know, uh, you know, respect here at GREH. You know, each person is unique and each person you know, has to be you know, taught in such a way that they can you know get their best. Okay. Now you know other than all this, you know what what, what else uh, you know does a student get at GRH? Okay, so if if you would really ask me this question, I would uh, I would ask you to extend this seminar for one more hour because there is so much uh, to talk about. But uh, I'll summarize it. I'll 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 tell you like uh, uh, you'll have your personal for personal numbers of your trainers. Okay. And then we have a student welfare department uh, that uh, takes care of all the, you know, if the students have any grievances or any issues, then the student welfare uh, team is there to take care of them. Okay. Then we also have a Facebook group where you can interact with other students of GREH. If, you know, if you can, uh, if you have any doubt, you have to ask uh, instantly. You can, you can even post it in the forum and, you know, you can have, you can learn for your GRE having fun. Okay. There are all, also guest seminars. Students who score, uh, you know, high in their GRE, they they you know give seminars uh, and inspire our, our other students. And there are a lot of apps. GRE is dedicated to you know help students in uh, making uh, tools that you know in turn help you in boosting your GRE scores. So there are a lot of apps available at GRE. You know, uh, there's a progress report app where you can compare your uh, scores with uh, those students who have the same target score as you. Then there's a quality bill. You can you can raise your issues directly to the managing director of the uh, of the firm. Okay, and uh, you know, uh, in case you know, if you ever uh, feel lazy or in case you know you miss your class, okay, uh, you know, there's always you know, reminders and alerts, okay. Now these personal trainers, you know, they uh, they're going to call you, they're going to email you, they're going to SMS you, they're going to try every every little thing that they can do, and you know, get you back onto your GRE preparation. You know, till till you get a you know good score, they're not going to leave you. Okay, they're not going to feel that you know, okay, this you know, this boy or girl hasn't taken a session. You know, uh, I'm happy about it. No, that's not what they're going to do. They're going to you know, you know. We get get you back. They want to motivate you. you know, if you don't do well, they want to motivate you, and you know they're going to just uh, you know, be behind your back uh, till you do well and get a good uh, GRE score. So, someone you mean to say that once you join GRE, you are doomed to get a high score? Uh, you can you can you can say like that, but you know it's not doomed. You know, it's going to be uh, you know very enjoyable uh, experience. Okay, you you have that uh, you know not just you know cutting edge technology. Okay. But you also have a uh, uh, lot of uh, you know, personal care okay? and you also have, you, know, you get to interact with uh, other students also. So you, you don't, uh, you know, you're, you're nowhere uh, you know, left out, uh, you, you get the best of uh, the, all, 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 from you know, all the world. Okay. So you know, uh, all this, you know, how much, what does it cost and you know, what is that you know you would recommend uh, you know the students now which which, uh, you know, which program to choose okay uh, there's a, you know i heard there's a you know, offer at uh, grh okay now can you tell us you know what is that offer and which program is it on and what what is the program consist yeah the, so guys there's an offer going on right now uh, you know uh, there's a 50 percent off on the complete GRE compact program. Now I'll tell you what complete GRE compact program is. Okay, we, we had a, a program called the complete GRE program that used to be uh, you know the most prop that even now it's the most pop, uh, popular program at GREH 
that has given us the most number of uh, high scorers in, in GRE. Okay, so we have something called the GRE at Wall of Fame. Uh, if, you, if you go to it and browse it, you can you can see the most of most of the students from uh, the Wall of Fame have come from the complete GRE program. Now what we have done is that we have compressed the complete GRE program uh, to a much compact version. Okay, and uh, you know, and it made it the complete GRE uh, compact program. The same, uh, the same benefits, the same, you know, uh, the same advantages, uh, all in, in in all in a compact version. Okay, so and that is being offered for a fifty percent off. So, but but guys, the the catch is that uh, the offer is ending today. Uh, today is the last day uh, before twelve o'clock. Uh, the the offer will end. So, uh, you know. So you know you can you can you can tell us that uh, you know if uh, if you want to you know uh, go and go ahead and uh, start uh, you know with uh, your GRE preparation and if you want GRS to help you with your GRE preparation okay then you can answer this poll okay now you know the one more beauty about uh, this offer is that uh, in case you have exams nearing or if you you know if you have uh, still few days uh, to make up your mind what you can do is. You can join now, okay, and make use of this fifty percent offer, okay, and you can start your preparation anytime, okay. You can just tell us when do you want to start. You can start immediately after you pay, or you can start after a day or two, or you can you can start after a month, okay. So you just have to tell us when you want to start, and you can you know just you know start. Okay, now this program is you know one twenty days program, okay, and that means you you have to you know prepare for two fifty hours. Okay, don't go by the validity. Okay, so this four months is quite a long time for you to prepare. Okay, but you have to, you know, you, have, you will be able to complete, uh, you know, this preparation by, you know, by 250 hours. Okay, and along with all this, you get all the online material. Okay, all that support of personal trainer, student welfare, uh, you know, all of this, you know, is included. Okay, there are no additional costs. There are no top ups. Okay, so you just uh, pay 5,500. Okay. And you get uh, into a GREH program. Okay, then originally for the you know eleven uh, thousand rupees. Okay, so you can answer this poll, and if you have any doubt, if you have any question, okay, uh, it could be anything. It could be regarding GRE. It could be regarding uh, you know this program. It could be regarding admissions. Uh, you can you can can tell us, and we will be glad to help you out. Okay, so I I think uh, you know uh, it was it was a wonderful uh, seminar, Mani. I think uh, you know you have explained uh, all this you know so clearly that you know uh, I don't think uh, there there not any there not much uh, doubts coming up. Okay, guys. Uh, so sh shall we uh, shall we close the poll then? Okay. 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 Then uh, you know, we'll close the poll. Okay. And you know, uh, in, in case uh, you you have any questions or you know anything that comes up later, you can you can get in touch with us at this number nine eight eight four four five three two seven six or email us at info at grl dot com. Okay. It could be regarding anything, and uh, you know. We will be very you know happy to you know help you out. Okay, so you know thanks for attending this online seminar and thanks for participating. Okay, uh, yeah, we we really enjoyed a lot. Uh, you know happy learning with GRH and all the best for your GRE. Thanks a lot, guys. All the best.